Dante comes to the wing and we've got the expansion card to install today. Coming up next. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode. Like, comment, and share this video so we can make more of them. And thanks to these folks for making DC Sound Up possible. Join us at the links below. It's been a little while since I've had the wing here. It was back in April, May, and June of 2020 when I had one on loan before to cover some of the basics and fundamentals. In the time since, though, there have been a bunch of firmware updates, some new features and options, and of course, what we're all here today for, a new Dante expansion card featuring 64 by 64 channel I.O. There is also an internal Dante card option that you may have heard talk about in the past, but this one we're talking about today is for the external expansion slot specifically. The card is built around the Autonate Brooklyn 2 chip, which allows for primary and secondary network connections for redundancy in critical applications. The genuine Neutra connectors are always a favorite of mine, and if you're new to audio networking, I would absolutely recommend checking out Sound Tools for their network cable uh, if you're using it in critical stage use type environments. Uh, it's not cheap, but it has been designed for this type of use, and it's linked below. I don't want to quote hard numbers yet on retail prices globally for this card while I'm filming this. It's very early, but it does look like the wing and this card as a combo will be very competitively priced as a package for a Dante-enabled mixer, especially with this kind of channel count and the routing flexibility. So to install the card, we first need to free up the expansion slot. I've got the Wing Live SD card recorder as standard, and two screws are all that's holding it in. It is a snug fit, but pull firmly straight out from the posts and it will release. Installing new cards is the same, just line things up, make sure things are square, and guide the card in without forcing anything. Be careful of static when handling expansion cards of any type, especially in the winter time. To use the card, you've got the typical input and output patching that Wing users will be familiar with. Just now you have a Dante option. Here you're going to be designating the patch between the console and the card slot, just like you would for any expansion card. Then you can head over to Dante Controller and create the patches within the network that you need. As an example, channel 1 of my console might be taking its actual source from anything on my network, like this preamp. So I can go to controller and create a patch from my preamp transmitter or output to the receiver channel I'd like to use on the Dante card in the wing. We'll choose channels one and two for simplicity. And now I can go over to the console and decide where that Dante channel should be used on the console. In this case, I'll put them as channels one and two again. So it's really that simple to set up. I'm sure there's gonna be all sorts of questions though about specific use cases and maybe about Dante in general uh, and what you can do with it. I've seen a lot of confusion already just in the past 24 hours online since this has been announced and also a lot of less than great information being shared about Dante's capabilities, shortcomings, and otherwise. So if you've got any questions specifically related to what you want to do with the wing and Dante, leave them down below and we'll try to get you a real answer. Obviously, I did just get this card as well, so I'm going to be working with it and we'll be talking about it in future videos, especially as questions come up. It's going to be a lot of fun to use the wing with all the other Dante equipment here that I have, and we'll do more videos on that for sure. I've got a number of different things like Avio adapters, boxes from Switchcraft, Neutrik, Here Technologies, and we'll see how all of those work uh, in tandem with a mixing board like this. And I think it should be a lot of fun to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back very soon with more videos. Let me know in the comments what you want to see.